Hello everyone, this is the Grand Chain, part of the Laundromat team, bringing you Shred the Avatar tutorials in 10 minutes or less. Today we're going to go over the basics of Shred the Avatar, also known as SOTA. First, we're going to get started with creating an account. To create an account, you're going to want to go to shroudoftheavatar.com. This will bring you to this page here. Right at the top here, you can hit play now. When you hit play now, you'll be open up to this page where you'll see that you can get Shroudy Avatar Forsaken Virtues for $40. You can hit buy to get yourself started. Or, if you wish, you can hit the X button here to check out the shop itself. One of the things you might want to look at is go to store, go to bundles. Each bundle comes with a copy of the game along with some other items for just a little extra. For instance, the base starter pack costs 45 instead of 40. It'll give you 30 extra bank slots and an item, in this case, the Kobold Mask. There are different types of bundles, the Kobold, the Viking, the Shogun, the Elven, and the Obsidian. Feel free to browse through these bundles and see what it is that you would like. Then, after you've made your purchase, it'll ask you to register. Or if you'd like to, you can register ahead of time by clicking register up top. You'll create a username, input your email, create a password, and type in a CAPTCHA and then hit register. After you register, you'll get an email to confirm your email address, and then you should be able to log in from the main page. Either by hit login up top here, or if you're on the front page, you'll see it up top here. Next, we're going to go over how to connect your account to a Steam account. First thing you're going to want to do is log into your Shroud of the Avatar. Go to your account. And then you'll see that this is your bundle or if you just made a standard purchase. You can go to Game Client slash Steam. And then you'll see that right here you can click on this in order to link your account to a Steam account. When you click on this, it'll bring you to the Shadow the Avatar page. What you're going to want to do is log in up top here into your Steam account. Then it'll ask you if you'd like to link your account. And note that if you do link your accounts, they cannot be unlinked for any reason. So do be careful with that. And that's how you link your account. After you install Shroud of the Avatar, there will be an intro scene. Feel free to watch it or skip it. After the intro scene, you'll be set to this page right here. Hit play to continue. You'll be warned that the game is still in construction. If this is released, this will no longer be here. Hit I understand the game is unfinished and entering construction zone. This is just a bit of a heads up to let you know the game is still being worked on and there might be some bugs or other issues as you play. Right here is their main menu. You'll see you can quit, check out your options, you review the intro, you can play offline or play online. The game was built to be played online, but you can decide to play offline. When you decide to play offline or, or online, you must type in your username and password. You must agree to the end user license agreement. There will be two or three of these, I believe it is two. One. You can go to New Game, and you can go ahead and choose male or female, and we'll type in a first and last name. You do not need both a first and last name, a simple first name will work perfectly fine. In online mode, you'll have to log in as well, but you'll see there's an addition to multiplayer, friends online, and single player online. The difference of these are very simple. Multiplayer online is what you'd expect it to be, where you will interact with everyone who's currently online. Friends online, you'll enter zones only with friends on your friends list. 
single player online, you will be online, but you will be playing only by yourself. Now the thing with these different sections are if you're playing multiplayer online, you will get a small experience boost. If you're playing with friends online, you will not get that boost. And single player online is like playing online with a uh, Diablo. If you've ever played the Diablo series, you can play by yourself online, where you can save your online character and you know play through the actual game, but you're not playing with anybody else, you're still playing by yourself. This is the same setup. As stated before, if you've never created a character, you'll see this creation character screen. We're going to go ahead and create a character right now in order to get started. I'm going to go with Tegan. As the game starts, a bit of an intro will show up here, kind of getting you an idea of how to play and what's going on in the world. To move around, you will need to use the W, A, S, and D keys, which are forward, left, back, and right, respectively. You can double click on individuals to talk with them, as this states here. Also, if you would like to, instead of double clicking, you can mouse over somebody and hit the E key, which is next to the W key. By doing so, you open up this menu here. These are conversation menus with NPCs. You can respond by clicking with any of these underlined commands here to get plenty of information from the individual. Also, you can see commands down here, which are all things that you can say. If you ever want to end the conversation, simply hit goodbye on the bottom right here. Another option is that clicking on different things, you can actually type in the commands themselves. And the NPC will respond in kind. For this first individual, if you try to leave too early, she will stop you and tell you about the manifestation process. Be sure to hit manifestation. She'll say talk to the mirror. You can also hit more for more information. And hit goodbye. Use your keys to make your way down the path. From there, you'll enter a character creation screen by clicking on the mirror or hitting E. Here is a character creation menu. You'll be able to choose your skin tone, your size, your hair, your eyes, your nose, your mouth and cheeks, and your jawline. Feel free to create the character you wish to have. After you're done with the character creation, you can simply go to the last line for draw and hit finished. After your character is created, you can make your way over to following the path here. There's a small book that you can read for information. If you wish to take the book with you, hit I for inventory, then you can click and drag it into your inventory. These little watchers will examine you and choose whether or not and how and these little watchers will tell the oracle whether or not you've been bad or good. I call them Santa's little helpers. Go inside here and talk to the oracle. So you can go ahead and start an analysis. The analysis will determine which of the three paths you will take between truth, courage, or love. We're going to go ahead and skip through these real quick. By just clicking the first one all the way through, you end up with the truth path. Now this also determines your starting class. Well, there aren't really classes in this game, but your starting setup. Truth, you're a mage. You can also choose Ranger or Fighter. Ranger is a love path, Fighter is the courage path. My suggestion is to start with the Ranger path as you can branch into anything you wish to further down the line. When you are done, hit goodbye. Open up the door and make your way to the top of the path. When you're here at the top of the path, jumping into the rift will end the beginning section of the game and start you on your path. For now, this is Grand Shame, signing out. I hope you enjoyed that video. 
please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. You can also check out the description for other links to other videos, along with our website for more help.